how to do it. It's a very well known problem. They said that they will create five new problems, but I guess it's not one of them. Uh, submit. Speedrun. Give me the second problem. Where can I find the problem? I don't know if you ask yourself this question a lot of times, but for sure lead code users do. There is a whole conversation below announcement of April 30 day challenge where people just ask anyone can find the problem or not? How to join this challenge? Where can I find the problem? And so on. And the best thing about it is that for every each of those comments, I got an email update with information somebody posted, where can I find the problems? People really cannot read block announcements. Challenge will start 1st of April, this time in Pacific Standard Time. Everybody assumes it's their time, I guess. Anyway, LeetCode announced that every day in April there will be a single problem to solve. You have 24 hours. If you solve all the problems, or at least 25 of them in time, then you get some random price or LeetCode points, whatever. My plan is to participate and when every 24 hour period ends, I will post a video on YouTube with my explanation or at least recording of me coding and something about the problem. If you are interested in that, of course, consider subscribing to the channel not to miss the future videos. I believe the first problem has already started, so let's try to find it together. Uh, is there any link? Click here to be redirected to the Challenge Explorer card. Seems promising. Single number. I wonder what the statement can be. Given a sequence, find a single number? Hard to guess. Every element appears twice except for one. Find that single one. Oh, I think I know how to do it. It's a very well known problem. They said that they will create five new problems, but I guess it's not one of them. Uh, submit. Speedrun. Give me the second problem. Uh, believe me or not, but I didn't look up this problem today, though I saw, I saw it uh, in the past. The issue is with memory here. That you can, of course, sort numbers or do some frequency array, something like that there, or you can create a hash set. If the number appears, then insert it in the hash set. But if number appears again, so it's already in the hash set, then instead remove it. There are a lot of solutions like that, but the simplest one is involves XOR. Maybe a hint for that first is what if the sequence would just contain zeros and ones? Then you could count zeros and ones. If it's array of Boolean values, then we can do it. And what follows from this is that we can figure out parity of the answer. In this sequence of numbers, every number appears twice except for one special number. Let, we need to find it. Are we able to find the parity of that special answer without any hash sets, sorting, anything like that? Something simple. Where we can go from left to right and just count even and odd numbers. Every time we encounter even number, we increase the count by one, even count. Uh, for odd numbers, odd number, odd count by one. We would count that the number of even numbers is three, the number of odd numbers is two, and we do that without any hash set, without any sort, in constant space. And from this I will say that apparently those can be paired, because this is even, this is not even, so this cannot be paired, so I will say answer for sure is even. If you will get that the number of even numbers is 100, and the number of odd numbers is 95, then I will tell you that this, those cannot be paired. So answer is odd. This is how we can figure out a single bit of the answer, the last bit, the least, least significant bit. But actually we can do the same for every bit. Every int can be represented as 32 bits. And the last one was, we figure out it's zero if the number is even, but the same way we can look at this one. We can go through all the numbers maybe again, count how many of them have one here in the second last position, second last bit, how many of them have zero? This will be constant space, and this way we figure out what bit will be there, because we will see, oh, 70 ones, 20 zeros, so one, and so on. And XOR is able to do all of that for, for us at once. We don't need to do every bit separately, because XOR does all the bits at the same time. Huh. Now I see that I, for some reason, put two semicolons here. And that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this not really very interesting or brand new problem, but hopefully the next ones will be better. See you tomorrow, same time. Bye.